Welcome back to Spray River Homestead. So for this week, it's been a big week on kidding for the goats. So we've got a little bit of fencing done here and there, but I want to warn you guys, if you do not want to see anything to do with heck goats having kids, this is not going to be the video for you. So fair warning, if you tread on, this might be a little graphic, but it's been an exciting week here on the farm. So today we're doing some fencing. As you can see behind me, if I show you my finger right there, that fence line going all the way up that way runs approximately 1,300 linear feet from end to end. So where I have the phone sitting right now is, we call it four corners back here. So it's literally where four pieces of property come together and form an X. So the exact corner here is where I have the phone sitting. To video, you can see behind Nikki is getting string off there. And I have a little bit of a good news and bad news story. So. We worked with Lockjaws, who, right there, they sent us a big thousand clip pack of their new spring clips. Well, new to us. So anyway, Nikki sees, probably about three or four weeks ago, she saw this ad on Facebook for Lockjaws clips. And we are doing fencing and barbed wire. It's just taking so long to do with those little normal ones you put on and you loop over and then you use like a screwdriver or something like we did on the front pasture to put them on. So the lock jaws, you kind of just fish behind the post and they snap right over the wire. Awesome thing is they work on cattle panels too. So we ordered up a thousand box pack. They threw in some hats and we plan to come down here and do all this fencing. So the disappointing or maybe the really surprising part is we have new neighbors. And if we hadn't mentioned it, we have new neighbors. So it's a family out of California that plan to use this property that was um, kind of the the tough property we had to deal with with the last neighbors they're going to use it for vacation property um, somebody may or may not live here full time and they're going to put cows here so great for us um, and so they've been up here every weekend well i should say every other weekend at least working on it cleaning it up putting in fencing so the disappointing part is we put in all this fencing and then today he asked he's like well you put on the posts. I've already bought the barbed wire. Um, I have a six man crew, including myself, six people. He brought six people up here, including himself to put in fencing. So they ran, I don't know how long, another 1300 wire or 1300 feet, four wire barbed wire fence this weekend. He said, if we'd finish the fence posts here, he'll do all the wire himself. We agreed on where the fence post uh, ends. And so he's gonna put in a gate next weekend. And yeah, just like that, this whole line is gonna be done. The line we never could get done in four years with the last um, last owners of this property, he's gonna knock out next weekend. So it's amazing. So we're gonna quickly clean up. You can see behind, I've got right here, uh, Nikki has the skid steer. I've got the quad with our cart. We'll get our tools up. And then we put in some more fencing on the property and we'll show up there and give you a good preview of the lock jaws clips. All right, so back up at the property, and we did put this in this week. So I know Nikki had mentioned, maybe in the last update, that we were going to do this with this pasture. So you can kind of look around here, and this is all cattle panels. So they were on sale. We went and picked up 60 of them, two loads of 30. And then we put in all of these cattle panels. So the ones on the right-hand side are on the outside of the fence, just because the barbed wire was there. So we went over top of it, and then on the inside... They are done there. So these lock jaws clips, the thing that makes them really kind of interesting is they hook on the back here. So you hook one side, swing it around, and then they pop over. Really easy on the hands. You can do them barehanded, but I used, ended up using just some needle nose pliers to loop them over, and they go on there very easy, very quickly. So we did this in a couple hours, honestly, just doing everything. And it's all in there. So now we have uh, our big male that can run basically from his fence. He can run down here and he can come down here towards the rabbit barns and that way you really don't have to worry about uh, coyotes and that coming near the rabbit barns. If I slowly turn around here, you can see we are right at the back of the dome greenhouses. You can kind of see the solar panels through there, the rabbit barns, chicken barns, even where the trucks and everything are. So it's right here at the house. And the uh, Harbor Freight Greenhouse is right there. It sounds like we have a goat in labor. So let's head down to the barn and we'll uh, fill you in on all the new goat babies. What do we got here? A problem. 
Uh, we had a foot that wouldn't come to the right spot. We had a foot too far back. So I had to go in to get it in position. I don't know if she's done yet or not, but. I think that's number one or two. It's number one. I think that other one was uh, Goldie's. Oh, okay. So if I show she's you. She's still in labor, I think. She's twitching pretty bad. Well, so there's more goats. If I go over here. There's Ari and Rosie. Ruby's over there with her babies that she gave us this morning. I know you guys are good. So there's a, there's one of Ruby's from this morning. That is a little girl. She had twin girls. Almost a spitting image of Roscoe. If I spin around here, there's Ruby. Oh, if I step out here. Oh, nice. There's the other one. Gertrude's dropping her biggest plug. <laughs> <laughs> So there's the other one for Ruby, black and white, another female. There's Roscoe. Yeah. And these are from yesterday. These are Goldies, so Goldies right there, kind of the golden brown there. She had a boy and a girl. They are- she's dripping mucus. Yeah. Well, that's what Callie was doing last night, yeah. this morning. They're getting close. So that's she what? might be done. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to give her one, a minute. One, two, three, four, five, five babies so far? Um, well, that makes six. The one you just pulled was six. Six, yeah. And then the one we lost. So that's seven so far this year. Seven babies so far this year. And I'm not sure that she's done. She usually gives about 15 minutes between her and so Yeah. Okay. Fresh out of mama. <laughs> All right, so 24 hours later, we're back out with the goats again, and we have another kid. So here's the one from yesterday Nikki helped pull. This is Mabel and her son, which is unnamed at this point, but they are doing wonderful today. And today, Gertrude gave us another little boy. At least they look alike this year. So black and white gave us black and white. But it is up and well and doing great. All right, so with the addition of the one today, that leaves us another 12 does to go. But we have seven kids now. And it's starting to get hard. Some of these are starting to look a lot alike. There's three that are black and white that look almost too similar. You have to look for the subtle differences between them. But they are doing, uh, everybody seems to be doing well. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. So this is another project Nikki's been working on kind of as we had time. A lot of these kind of the ornamental pieces is what Nikki's mom has brought back the last couple winters out of Arizona. So you got a little bit of a desert motif, but most of it are kind of like spring flowers. Now, of course, she has said multiple times that we live in high desert, so flowers don't really grow well here. So all these rocks lining all of this were actually over here in a pile and they were from when we first laid the driveway they were kind of some big ones so we took everything out of all this area here threw them in the bucket of the tractor brought them over and she's got it as a nice retaining wall plus a little bit down here of some wood to do that now this is 20 bags of rock we went back today to get some more well they were out so right now we're waiting on the local stores to get some more lava rock in but that is it for Pretty much to finish this up, still got a couple things to do on it, but it looks great. Look at the wall here with all the natural rock here. This is all granite on the retaining wall and then red lava rock, which will match kind of the front flower bed over here. All right, another day here in the farm and we are out doing some fencing and heard a goat, well, in labor. They seem to be doing like the late afternoon. So you've got one right here. This is uh, Carmela, or Melly as we call her. She is our oldest lady here. I think she's what, 10? Uh, 10, nine. 11, nine. She's nine, but this is her last year. We're probably gonna let her have some kids. And she just had one. So here's her little baby, a uh, little white on the head, but you can see it there just like a golden brown. Very nice, very nice afternoon. So good afternoon surprise. And we gave them some more pastures so you can kind of see that we've let them in here. So if I slowly spin around, it's gonna be kind of sunny there, but if I show you, we've 
giving them some pasture out there so that they can be out here and graze. Food. I think he's actually a little early. Yeah. The little footsies are kept. What are you doing? Gertie, you're so invasive sometimes. That twins. We'll make that twins. Melly gave us twins there. Hopefully she's done. Um, Maybe. The second one was a breech presentation, so it came out backwards rather than the front feet no, and head. No, Uh-oh. Maybe not. Uh-oh. We may have triplets going on here, which she's done to us before. Or she's just having a really tough time passing afterbirth. That could be too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give her a minute and see what she's going to do here. <laughs> All right, we'll make that triplets. Melly gave us triplets this year. She did that, what, three years ago? <laughs> she's had triplets more often than she's had twins. So there you go. She's kidding five or six for her. So this one here is a little bit smaller. It's kind of the run to the litter, and we'll see if it how it does, but it was a tough delivery in that one. All right, so it's the end of Thursday, and we're going to get towards the end of this video. So I promised you a baby status, and before we do that, we actually put in another pasture here. So let me flip this camera around, and I'll show you what we did today. So going to this fence line right here, this is a new pasture we just put in. So this is kind of a permanent fence we put in with the lock jaws clips and the baling wire that we actually got for free. So you can see in there, there are two little goats in there tearing up sagebrush in that. So this is all pasture for them at this point. So you can kind of see the barn up here. Uh, these guys, I don't know how many acres, it's not an acre, a quarter acre maybe, I don't know, maybe a fat. But for two little goats, this is plenty of food for them. This will probably go till it dries out, so they have plenty of that. And it cuts us down on a uh, flake of hay for at least breakfast, if not dinner, for these guys every single day. All right, so I'm down, down here standing with the goats, and the question of the day is, did we get any more babies today? And the answer is, <gasps> Yes, we have one more little baby boy. We are buck heavy this year, but this is the little guy that was born around lunchtime today. <laughs> Would you hold still? Little, little guy right here was born today around lunch to a first time mom. We call her MG because she's the micro goat. But this little guy is just all full of vinegar today running around having fun with all of his friends. So it's been a great week of having kids on the farm and getting all new pastures put in. We have put in three new pastures in the last week and a half for our goats to be out of grass. The unfortunate part is, well, the economy has finally bit my job and as of last night, I am being furloughed. So we are at least keeping uh, benefits, so medical, dental, vision, all that stuff is there. But of course, none of it is emergency or essential, so, well, it's at least nice to have benefits. As of right now, I'm not drawing a salary, so kind of sucks. So the question we're doing going forward is um, how much is the farm going to be sustainable? We've always grown to try and be sustainable here on the farm in that but the real question is how much is the farm going to be for an income? Well, we talked about, um, honestly, trying to not go back to work, to try and be independently doing things, being content creators full time between both of our channels. And don't know if that's even possible at this point, but we're going to give it a try. So who knows? But yay, kids, fencing and furloughs. Well, some days that's just the way it way it is. So that's just for this time, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed having all the kids born all week. They are fun to watch out here. And now I'm being head by, by a goat. So with that, we'll let you go. Thanks for uh, stopping by Sprague River Homestead. Happy homesteading. We'll see you next time.